Okay, when the price for a bushel of wheat is 32 cents, the daily supply is 324 bushels, and the daily demand is 502 bushels. If the price is raised to 76 cents per bushel, the daily supply goes up to 544 bushels, and the daily demand drops to 414 bushels. So, what we want to do is, we've come up with a supply equation and a demand equation. So the red one is my demand curve and the blue one is my supply curve. What we want to do is we want to find the equilibrium price and the equilibrium quantity. So in order to do that we're going to need the supply curve and the demand curve. So I'll grab the supply curve. This is from a previous video we did we got the supply curve it's linked in the uh, description. So let's copy this. This is going to be a part of finding the equilibrium price. We also need the demand curve. So let's grab the demand curve. This is also going to be a part of calculating the equilibrium price and quantity. So that's my supply and demand curves. Those are them. And what we're doing here is we are going to have to find the intersection of these two linear equations. So we can either use substitution or elimination, a.k.a. addition. Given the fact that both of these equations are already solved for P, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use substitution. I'm just going to substitute P, that blue P, into the second equation for P. So... Setting the equations equal to each other, 0.002q minus 0.328, that's p, and that should equal negative 0.005q plus 2.83. And then we just need to solve this equation for q, which will give me the equilibrium quantity. So to solve for Q, I can go through, I can add 0.005Q to both sides, 0.005Q, and I can also add 0.328 to both sides, 0.328. And here's what the result will be. These will cancel on the left side, these will cancel on the right side, so my left side will be 0.007q, while the right-hand side, well, since those cancel out, the 0.005q and the 0.005q negative, then all we have left on that side is the 2.83 uh, plus 0.328, which amounts to 3.158. So I get 3.158 on the right side. Then it's just a matter of dividing both sides by 0 .007, 0 0.007, which gives me 451 units. Rounding down, I get this is approximately saying that Q is approximately 451 units. So that is the equilibrium quantity. This is the quantity. Q stands for quantity. 451, this is the equilibrium quantity. And then for the equilibrium price, all I have to do is take that quantity of 451 and plug it into either one of those equations. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the top equation. So 0 0.000, P equals 0 0.002 times Q, which is 451, the equilibrium quantity and then minus 0 0.328, minus 0 0.328. So I think I've done everything correctly there. Yep, 0 0.002q, minus 0 0.328, yep. And then doing this calculation will give me my equilibrium price. So 451 times 0 0.002, and then minus 0.328. And I get that the equilibrium price is approximately 57 cents. So 57 cents per bushel will be the equilibrium.
equilibrium price. And uh, that's how we do it. <laughs>